With the stroke of a pen, it's a new beginning for a handful of residents of Louisiana. This is now home. This is the first project of its kind in our nation's history. These are basically climate change refugees. Less than 40 miles away, some 60 kilometres, is where they used to live, on the Ile de Jean Charles, which is vanishing into the sea. Climate change and erosion from oil and gas canals are largely to blame. In our own yard, right here, I could count 15 trees whenever I was growing up that's not there anymore. Facing the reality of a 98% loss of land in just under seven decades, the state of Louisiana and an indigenous tribe from the island applied for a new federal grant in 2016 designed to help areas impacted by climate change to move the community to the mainland. It's a controversial solution which was met with some resistance by people who didn't want to leave. But it's one that countries around the world are considering as they too face the loss of habitable land due to climate change. Forecasts say in 30 years the Welsh village of Fairbourne is at risk of being engulfed by rising sea levels. So about a decade ago, officials decided they couldn't afford to maintain its flood defences against such conditions and that by 2054, Fairbourne would no longer be a safe or sustainable place to live. Authorities say they're working on a plan to eventually relocate people, but some say they don't have details on when and where they will go. Nearly a thousand people live in here and they, this is their home. This is where they live. Some residents aren't giving up easily and are challenging the government to find other alternatives. But a recent report by the Royal Meteorological Society says that sea levels around the UK are on the rise, especially over the last 30 years, leaving coastal land in more danger from winds and waves and larger and more frequent storms. A prospect some villagers say is worrying. In, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 years time, if what is being talked about comes to fruition, the UK is going to be just a, a bit of a strip of land down the middle. And where are all these people going to go? A question residents in many places are pondering if more action isn't taken to protect coastal lands as the effects of climate change are felt closer to home. Michael Holmes, CNN.